Hi guys, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to dissolve features in QGIS. You can subscribe to this channel to follow all my previous useful GIS tips and tutorials. If you like what we do here and you want to support this channel, you can join our Patreon. I will provide a link in the description below. Dissolving is a process in which a new map feature is created by merging adjacent polygons, lines or regions that have a common value for a specified attribute. So let's go to QGIS and look at today's exercise. We'll open QGIS. And before we start today's exercise, I just noticed my copyright reads uh, 2020. So we're going to uh, do a very, very quick adjustment to this. So I'm going to go to view, decorations, then uh, I'm going to look for my copyright label. And then instead of why is 2020, because we're in a new year, I'll say 2021 and then I click on apply. Okay. And everything changes here. So now that we have done that, we're going to now go directly to what we are supposed to do today. For today's exercise, I'm going to load two layers. So I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add vector layer. Then I'm going to browse for where my vector layer is. So I'm going to click on the browse button here. And my data is in the desktop. GIS data then there is this dissolve exercise here and I'm going to load I have actually two layers here there's the world Africa there's the world countries and there's the African countries so I'm going to load both of the layers then click on add then click on close and now I have all my layers loaded in QGIS so the next thing you want to do is I'm going to turn off the world layer first. So I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to zoom to the full view of Africa shape file. So the next thing you want to do is you want to actually eliminate these boundaries that are within the African shape file so that you can have just one continent, continuous continent for the whole of Africa. So how do you do that? We're going to perform a geoprocessing function called dissolve. So I'm going to go to vector. It's under vector, geoprocessing tools. Then I'm going to select dissolve. When you select dissolve, this pop-up algorithm appears. So I'm going to input my layer, which is the African countries. Then I'm not going to dissolve it to any attributes here first or any fields. I'm just going to create a temporary layer for my first result. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on run and it pretty much takes very short time to run. And you can see the algorithm has finished. The dissolve has finished. So let's look at our results. I'll click on close. And you can now see we have one big polygon of Africa without the boundaries. When I open the attribute table, it actually just takes one of the attributes. So it's upon you as the user to just edit and just edit the information that is here and even do a new calculation for the area because I believe the area will be much bigger here. So that is the first way of dissolving this. You can see we have one continuous uh, polygon. Now let's look at the attribute table and see how we can, uh, we can also do the resolve function. So I'm going to go to right click on the layer of Africa again then open the attribute table and then look at the attribute table. And you can see in my attribute table, I have the names. I have so much information here, but I'm interested in another thing here. And it's called the, the region, UN region. You can see there is the middle of Africa, Eastern Africa, there's the West Africa. So I actually want to now dissolve them according to this region, the Eastern Africa, the middle, the Northern Africa, Southern Africa and Western Africa. So we're going to be using this uh, field to dissolve our 
African uh, shapefile. So I'm going to close the attribute table. Then I'm going to do the same thing, which is I'm going to go to vector, geoprocessing tool, dissolve. I'm still using the African countries as my input layer. Then the dissolve field now, we're going to select it from here. So I'm going to click on this so that I can actually look at what the, all the fields that are within the layer. So I want to dissolve it using the, the UN region one. I'm going to select that as the field that I'm going to be using to, to dissolve my results. So after selecting that, I'm going to click on OK. Then I have one option selected in under the fields. So I'm going to just dissolve these and create a temporary layer again. And then let's look at what happens. So I'm going to click on run. You can actually just uh, save them to file if you're sure about what you're doing. But I want to just look at my results first before I may now make the layers permanent. So I'm just going to click on run. And it pretty much takes a very short time to run. Let's just wait for the process to run. And you can see the dissolved results have finished. And then I'm going to click on close. And now I have another dissolve here. So let me just turn off my first temporary layer. And you can see in my second temporary layer now, I have dissolved the African regions using the region that we had actually selected. So I'm actually just going to look at the attribute table to see uh, the regions. So I'm going to open the attribute table. And you can see now, when I scroll, I can actually see the UN regions have the Eastern Africa, Middle Africa, West Africa, North Africa, and South Africa. I can decide to symbolize them. So I'm going to go to right click on the layer, go to properties. Then I'm going to symbolize them using the categories, UN regions, one, UN regions. Then I'm going to say, I'm going to use random colors, click on classify, and I have all my, my regions here. Then I'm going to click on apply. Okay, and you can see now they have been classified according to the different regions. You can see East Africa is here, Middle Africa is this, Northern Africa is the top part here, West Africa, and then the Southern Africa. So that is how you dissolve now using the using a field in your attribute table. So you can actually decide to make this permanent now and then do your edits and use it in any analysis that you want to run so the next thing we want to do is i'm going to actually uh, uncheck the two i'm actually going to remove the two dissolved because we have already achieved what we wanted i'm going to remove them remove the layers and i'm also going to remove the and check the african continent now let's now use the whole world data and look at just how we can just dissolve the different regions in QGIS. I'm going to zoom to layer. And this is data for the whole world. So we're going to just look at the attribute table first and see what kind of information our data has. So I'm going to open the attribute table by right clicking on the layer, I'm going to open the attribute table. And then you can see we have the name, the country, the English name of, the, of that, then the sovereignty, the continent, then there is the UN reg region. The first thing you want to do is you want to now dissolve using without, without necessarily using any of these columns here. So I'm just going to go to vector again, geoprocessing tools, dissolve. Then right now my active layer, which is my input layer is the world countries. Then I'm going, I'm not going to put any option here. I'm just going to create a temporary layer for now. And then I'm going to click on run. And the process starts. Our dissolve has finished. So let's look at the results. So let's close this. And you can now see when I use the select tool to select, it actually selects the whole region. And now we only have one, one row that is now the whole world. 
So let's now look at another way of now dissolving this. So this one can just be now renamed to this is the world shape file. So we have a world shape file which is still a temporary layer. We can actually uh, save it later on. So we want to now look at how to, to dissolve in another way. Let's look at our attribute table. And now you can see we also have another column here called continents. So actually we can dissolve this data according to continents. So let's try and do that. We'll go to vector again, your processing tool, dissolve. We are still using the same uh, world country shape file. Then the dissolve field, you're going to cl click on the three buttons here. And then you're going to select the continent as our dissolve field. Then K. Then I'm going to click on run so that you can actually get our results. So we're just going to wait for our results. The algorithm is finished. So let's look at our results. I need to click on close. And now we have a new shape file here called dissolved. When I look at the attribute table now, you'll see it has now been divided into the five continents in the world. You can see Oceanica, North America, South America, Asia, Antarctica, and Europe. So let's uh, first uh, style that, go to properties. So we can symbolize that using the categorized. Then the value that we're going to symbolize is the continent. I'm going to just use random colors and click on classify and we have our uh, different con con uh, continents here in different colors. Click on apply. Okay. And now you can see if I uncheck these, we actually have all the different uh, continents. You can actually even decide to name them. I'm going to label them using a single label. Then we're going to use the continent. Then the text is going to just be black, much bigger. Then with a white buffer, the background, then you click on apply, okay. And we have our results. You can see North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Oceanic. So that is how you perform dissolved. So we have moved from these, which has boundaries, to this which has actually now the which, which has now the continents so you can actually do this for any kind of data be it maybe for example you have land use land cover data and you want to just uh, show the different classes in uh, one column you can actually just use this dissolve tool to dissolve those uh, attributes so we can now rename these two. We can rename it to world continents. So now we have two temporary layers. One is the, for the world shape file, and uh, which is actually for the whole of the world. And then now we have now another shape file that has the continents. And now our initial shape file has now all of uh, the world countries. That's it for today's exercise. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in my next video.